Charges have been filed today against a couple in Brevard County. Investigators say they were responsible for the deaths of more than 50 animals when this house went up in flames. Fire Rescue was able to save a dozen dogs and a cat, but many more animals did not make it out alive. News 6 reporter James Barbero was there when the two suspects bonded out of jail today. He has the story from Brevard County. Posting a $45,000 bond, former pet owner Daniel Brantley denying accusations of animal cruelty. Are you an animal hoarder, sir? No. Get away from my truck. Brantley and 67-year-old Jacqueline Trom were arrested Monday, two weeks after deputies say a fire at their Merritt Island home killed over 50 of more than 60 animals they were keeping inside. This look indoors, showing a house of filth. Fortunately, more than a dozen Australian Shepherds were rescued. This is Tex. He's about six months old. Seven of them taken in by the SPCA in Titusville. How would you like a new friend in Cooper? Thanks to viewers like you sharing this story 8,000 times on our new Six Facebook page. Now looking for a new home. The SPCA says all seven Aussies are now matched with new owners. He's a good dog, very well mannered. Special plans were also made for the other half dozen dogs that were saved, like Smokey, seen here two weeks ago, terrified as he was loaded into an animal services van. He's very happy. Now he's smiling with his new owner, a Brevard firefighter who rescued him. <coughs> Video from the fire also captures Brantley, seen here surrendering survivors. That, however, not enough to avoid charges. I got as many out as I could. Get out of my face. The house on Kenwood Avenue remains condemned. Tonight at 5, hear from a man speaking in defense of his neighbors. In Brevard County, I'm James Sparvero, News 6. Upcoming court appearances for the two suspects have not yet been scheduled.